Well, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner here. But I'm gonna ask everyone that's involved in the native survival community to give this a try. Panas a piece of meat, cook it up, make a video if you have a YouTube channel, and post it on this channel, of course, in the comments, like we always do in the community channel. So we can all go there, check it out, like, share, subscribe, all of that. If you have a Twitter, if you have Pinterest, anything like that, take a picture of the meat cooking, throw a link down there as well. It's all about the community, it's all about sharing, different ways we do things, and this is just a great challenge. It's a great way to cook meat, get out there, this might not be a way you're familiar with. I highly advise that you try this style out. Grab some pine roots. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Okay, so you have to think on your feet with this. The wind is pushing everything that way. There's a lot of heat going that way. <clears throat> and the flames are very tall. They're much shorter upwind.
so the heat will be more controlled it's less controlled by wind and it's just radiation instead there's a few ways to do it I could have the meat just like this stick in the ground I could have it at an angle, I could have it flat across, I've done that as well using a really long stick, that works good. Look at that golden brown goodness. I love when the fat starts to sweat and weep out of the skin. Fat is just dripping like crazy. Oh man, is that looking good. Love that fat pooling right there. Just weeps flavor. See how this side's doing? Oh, look at the crust on that. Oh man. I think we might be there. I think we might be there. That is looking fantastic. That is looking pretty delicious. Just in case it's not cooked enough, my roots are still intact. I'm gonna let that rest a little bit. Oh, wow, that smells incredible though. See what the verdict is. I like medium rare. Cut through the crust. Oh yeah. Just shy medium. Just into the medium rare land. Look at that. Weeping flavor. Oh boy. That's gonna be insane. Here we go, it's the test. It's not possible to not like duck. Wow. The skin on. Real fatty skin. It's like... Creamy when it's cooked like that. Smoky flavor. Man, <laughs> this is so good. This is like, duck has really taken over as my favorite meat.
my favorite part of the duck breast is when I cook it with the fatty skin on. I get a bite of each. It's like a man, it's like a creamy gravy, like a sauce. It just completely it's so tender that the, the fat just liquefies in your mouth when you chew it. And the meat is, is basically like um, like a red chicken breast. It's just all tender. <laughs> it's just it's just a really tender piece of meat. Just like a chicken breast, except it's a duck breast. And it's red instead of white. The bite I'm about to have. Mm-hmm. Panast duck breast. Primitively cooked. I mean it tastes out of this world. I made this at the last Nina Survival rendezvous. It was a huge hit. Panasing works for meat as well, as you can see. It doesn't have to be fish. Which is the most common thing to cook in that style. Very simple to do. Put a skewer to the chunk of meat. Hold it open. Split stick. Tie it with natural, non-poisonous, edible plant. I like to use pine roots. Other things will suffice if you don't have pine in your area. I've used the youngest twigs, the youngest shoots, off of maple. They're real bendy. Work great for that. Sometimes you have to, if they're a little too woody and they snap, you have to cut them, go to the cut end, put a little slit, and just split it down the middle. Same exact thing as I did to this. Split stick on that little twig. And you can tie knots with it. That crust that cooks from it being smoked like that is sometimes called bark in the culinary world. Mmm. 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 Incredible way to cook. Really easy. Doesn't require anything but a knife and some sticks. But more important than that is the quality of the product. It is just so good when it's cooked this way. It's really tender, has a slight smoky flavor. And you keep flipping it over, it just keeps basting in its own fat. Amazing. This has been Mitch with the Native Survival School. Be sure to check out my website, nativesurvival.com, and as always, enjoy the outdoors.